Hello Leo, welcome to your weekly reading. I hope you're all doing really well. This reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus sign Leo. If you like this reading, please like, subscribe, comment and share the content if that's what you feel like doing. I really love and appreciate you all so very much for all of your support on my channel. And for private readings specific to you, please visit katytarot.com. So let's take a look, Leo, at your week ahead, calling in your angels and guides, spirit and source energy for Leo. Guidance for Leo, please. Guidance for Leo, please, spirits. Guidance for Leo. Guidance for Leo. This is a general reading, so please take what resonates for you personally and just leave the rest. You may have a concern, a worry or a question that you would like spirit to give you guidance on. You may like to focus on that now while I am shuffling and dealing the cards for you. And also you may like to focus in on the images on the cards and the writing on the cards. They may give you the answer that you seek from spirits. Guidance please for Leo. Guidance for Leo please. Guidance for Leo, please, spirits. Guidance for Leo. Your energy, Leo, and the energy around you for the week. Let's take a look at your first message. Yin and Yang. Very powerful symbolism, very powerful message here for you, Leo. The first thing that I'm seeing is that it's important that you listen to your intuition and your divine guidance. Divine guidance will show the way this week and in the weeks to come, but particularly this week. Give your praise, give your energy, give your expectations, your intention to spirits give your energy to a higher power that's the energy I'm feeling for you this week Leo and you're going to be able to come into balance by doing this so perhaps you have been exerting a lot of energy a lot of willpower here on the earthly plane to bring about a manifestation that you want in your life and perhaps it's come through fully, partially, or maybe not at all yet. Spirit is seeing this. Spirit wants to help you with this. Spirit wants to guide you on this. Divine guidance is the way. But you need to open up to that guidance to start the process. There's also an energy here of being in balance once again, physically, mentally, emotionally. So if that has been on your agenda or something you've been focusing on, Leo, Spirit is saying that that's going to come through to you this week or, or very soon. In relationships and potential relationships, there is a, a pull and a pull, uh, uh, sorry, a push and a pull going on here. Yes, a push, someone will push away, um, but then pull you toward them, this type of energy. That's going to be sorted out soon, sooner rather than later, I'm being told for you. Now let's take a look at this card. It says, sit quietly and close your eyes. Breathe slowly and deeply. In your mind's eye, imagine a yin-yang symbol representing two, opposite, op, uh, two opposing but complementary forces, something that's found throughout all of nature. Yin is often symbolized as water or earth and is considered the receptive feminine force. Yang is symbolized by fire or wind and is the creative masculine force. While opposites, they are not absolutes. Nothing can exist on our physical plane without its opposite. And neither part is superior to the other. Allow this image to move you to your center, where you feel at one and at peace with your whole being. You are everything. So there's that powerful connection into spirit that I was picking up on to begin your read. So very, um, very positive energy coming through to start your reading. Let's take a look at your next card. Surrender the idea that you can fix someone. Leo, is there someone around you that you're wanting to fix? Is there someone around you you are giving too much energy to? Perhaps that's where the imbalance comes into play. 
It's time for a relationship to shift. It doesn't work to try to fix someone. Each person must be accountable for his or own for his her or her own healing. Yes, for his or her own healing. Yes. So there is someone around you, Leo, that you're putting too much time and energy into, but are they taking responsibility for themselves? That's something you're going to have to consider this week. Infinite abundance. I love this for you, Leo. Abundance is pouring into your life. I love this beautiful energy. They're telling me when things come into balance, when things are coming into balance for you, then infinite abundance will come in toward you. Yes, it's going to pour into your life. Blessings will come in toward you. You will be able to manifest what you want in your material life. So yeah, Spirit is saying that that is just around the corner for you. And maybe even if you do come into balance with certain things, relationships in your life this week, Leo, you're going to start to see an abundance come in in some form or fashion into your life this week. Merger, the energy of merging. Together we have the number 34. You're wanting to become close to someone here and you're feeling that the only way to do it is if you're giving them a lot of your energy or maybe subconsciously, you know, you're not aware that they're sucking your energy or that they're taking from you, but they're not really giving back to you, Leo. You're wanting to merge with them, but it's challenging when it's not in balance, when this relationship is an imbalance and doesn't have to be romantic, although it will be for some of you. Maybe a work relationship in the workplace or a friend or a family member, perhaps, or someone that you know in your community. Now we have a merger energy here. This can mean a merger for business or work. Yes, merging tasks together. You may be asked to do a new project, continue on to do the same role that you're doing as well, for example. Okay, so let's take a look at this card here. We have the Princess of Discs, Page of Pentacles. All right. This may be a child or youth or someone younger than you around you, Virgo, that is taking up a lot of your time and energy. There's also a sense here of being, uh, being in training, studying, you know, that's another meaning of the card. And I am seeing that if you are in training study, whether it's in the workplace or an educational setting, Leo, let that divine guidance um, show you the way. Okay, be very practical with things this week as well. Um, don't be afraid to experiment with new thing, new ideas or new things, put new things. Um, yes, experiment in some way this week, Leo, in a, in a really practical way. Don't be afraid to try new things. Um, learn new things. Very powerful, positive energy. This is also a new something new is coming into your life in a physical way this could be work-wise financially perhaps possession something new is coming into your life physically the knight of cups king of cups energy okay leo you may have a water sign around you so that would be a cancer a pisces a scorpio now for your energy, I'm seeing that something is, something's moving um, in a positive way emotionally for you. So something's touching your heart or someone is touching your heart and you're moving toward it in a positive way or the relationship, the dynamic is going to be able to move forward in a positive way, perhaps with some learning that's associated with it. Yes, learning first, then the balance will come. There is a balance in a relationship that needs to happen, Leo. You're learning through the process, so then things can heal and more abundance can come into this relationship. We have the Ace of Cups, beautiful, powerful energy, brand new beginnings emotionally with your feelings, how you're feeling about someone, how you're feeling about an environment that you're in this week. It's a newness. It's an uplifting energy. You have the Two of Wands, a partnership, partnership in business or work. There's, um, it could be this merger that's happening here in some way, love, relationship-wise, or in work. 
it's time for preparing it's time for planning and that's why this study energy has come up study research putting down firm roots just taking the first steps to do that and the chariot this is cancer's energy leo so you may be dealing with a cancer the chariot is about forward momentum and you being in control and you stepping up and stepping into your power so really nice energy coming through um, some changes are going to happen here for you leo some changes are going to happen or need to happen to bring things back into balance so you can move forward with empowerment very nice reading for you leo i hope you have a wonderful week ahead and i will talk to you all again soon